thank you for joining us. So we're going to go over Starship's new web UI uh, interface for Sage 100. And on my screen is the new Starship web UI. So um, if we have any clients that are currently using Starship with the link interface where you're coming in through shipping data entry, uh, you're going to see a lot of new features that you're going to gain access through this web UI. Again, those using Starship, same functionality, just nice look and feel of the new UI. Now when I'm ready, you can of course ship and process. Also still have the shortcut icon so I can, as you can see, if I just wanted to save the shipment without processing it, you know, if I was staging a shipment, I could just save or hit control S. F3 is the ship and process where it's fully going to process this and generate my shipping documents. I can also do control F3 and, and do the ship process and as well get a um, return label. All right, so here we'll just do the ship and process. And of course, as I mentioned, we ship and process. As a shipper, I am going to receive my shipping documents. Uh, for the sake of this demo, they will just preview here, uh, but most certainly we can send these right to a printer and that can be thermal or laser. Um, also for the demo, I'm using our, what, this is what we call our smart label. So as you can see, the smart label will generate a shipping label as well as a packing list and this would go to a laser printer because it prints on a piece of paper. Um, but again, if we wanted to, we can send that shipping label to a thermal printer. Starship's packing list, you then will have the option. You can send that to a thermal printer as well. You know, send it to a four by six uh, thermal label, or of course, just send it to a, a laser printer and print it on paper. All right, I'm just gonna X out of there. Now again, ship and process, receive my shipping documents, they'll just probably print out, and it's gonna take me right back to that selection screen. So now I just move on, either scan my next barcoded order or manually select it and just go through that whole process again. All right. uh, some other features, you know, we have these nice uh, recent shipments kind of alert so I can see, hey, what's been processed really quick. I have access to that. Even as you can see here, I have a warning. This one I just saved, so it hasn't been processed. Um, you know, I can see also what's been printed, my printer notifications. But really nice look and feel. Close that, minimize down, and we'll jump into Sage. So I'll go into invoice data entry, kind of switch gears here, put on my front office hat, and go into SO invoice data entry. So again, anyone familiar with the business object interface um, with this, same with this web UI, Starship will automatically create the invoice inside of Sage. So here's that invoice, 273 is the order we just shipped. Header tab. Here's my tracking information. All right, now, normal functionality, we're gonna write this right back into Sage's tracking tables so I can even use their little hyperlink to track as well as if I wanted to see item to box detail, we could see that as well. So if I different packaging, I could see all the different items in each box. And then on the totals tab, we are gonna write back that freight amount. And again, that is plus or minus any freight rules. I also get into write back rules. So if there are some scenarios where you do not want freight to write back, simply create a rule and Starship, of course, would look at that rule and say, oh, you know, they already charged the freight on the sales order, for example. We're not going to write back and override that. Right. So really that's what I wanted to show everyone. Uh, let me bring up my contact information here.